Now, the other thing I would ask Yaya is does she have a boyfriend, right? right? If she says no and I ask her to be my girlfriend, that's a legal thing, right? If she lets me have sex with her during the transaction, right? that's not a crime. Mm. She's my new girlfriend. <laughs> you don't get that, do you? <laughs> I'm not paying her for sex or only the massage, right? That's not a crime, I never thought. <laughs> so you never understand our real laws, right? What they're all about. Mm -hmm. You also confuse divorce in the Bible. Mm -hmm. You can't tell if Jesus is being sarcastic or literal because you're not hearing him to ask him what he means, right? Some dick wrote it <laughs> that way in Greek and you're translating it to English and you're taking it out of context of a statement that's talking about a bunch of things, right? Not just one specific topic, though it includes divorce, right? Now, if you take everything Jesus says literally when he says hate your mother and father or shit like that, you're misinterpreting it. That could be what? Sarcasm. Sarcasm, right? But what does he mean? That you must love them more than him, though, in a way, too, right? Because if your mother and father don't understand Jesus, you're the real go-between there. Mm-hmm. You're supposed to try to understand what Jesus is saying, right? But you can also become against your mom and dad, and Jesus don't mean that. You still got to honor your father and mother, right? A lot of things <laughs> you don't get, <laughs> like I said, is when, again... What am I supposed to do <laughs> with stuff like this, right? See, this is just about one thing, her flaunting her body all over the place. But what? <laughs> am I to judge it or like it? <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> I also don't mind the backup dancers in the background. They look kind of hot too, right? Right. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> But she's trying to be the star. They're promoting her with their little money <laughs> while she's twerking on the camera. <laughs> Shake it that ass. Right? Shake it that ass. Right? Okay, but the thing is, okay, mm -hmm. I find her somewhat attractive. Why not? Why not? But it's the point I'm trying to make about respecting the female's rights. Two, two. So I can't say because she's showing her ass. Mm, that's permission to go fuck her. Right? That's what I mean. Right? See, when I was going up and growing up in the church, they were saying some crazy stuff like that. Right? Right? Even the Muslims make the women wear the hijab so they don't get raped. <laughs> if they don't. If they don't. That's kind of messed up, ain't it? Ain't it? <laughs> they say God tells them to wear the hijab. Well, God doesn't write wear a hijab <laughs> in the Quran. <laughs> it's the spirit. It can't write anything down. <laughs> Though it did make us and the planet we live on. You understand? <laughs> but see, you're judging her because you find her attractive enough but you know you wouldn't stand the snowball's chance in hell with her <laughs> do too <laughs> so again you know you gotta stalk her and rape her to even get to her <laughs> that's what I'm saying right I don't come off as someone who's just not looking for a girlfriend <laughs> either either <laughs> Do the women I'm trying to be with. Right. I'm not saying anything happened with anyone. 
Like I told you, even Marie, I don't know, would even come over here. Why? Why? But is boyfriend obsessed that I've been home all day? You know, and mentally ill and afraid I'm going to go over there, making her afraid I'm going to go over there. Which I don't. Which I never do. I never do, right? I only went over there briefly when I didn't have the car because of the previous wreck before the one in April. And that's the only time I've been over there when I needed something for real, right? Though I've been trying to borrow his damn lawnmower and he went all batshit and now mine's missing. That's weird. That's weird. Dude, dude. But mine looked like his. <laughs> don't mean it is. Unless they stole his and then he stole mine. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But the thing is, okay, I think they're together, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> what else can you think? If she's with him, I'm going to stay home and ignore her all day. <laughs> don't matter. I don't matter. <laughs> That's what I'm supposed to do as a dance store neighbor, right? Now, if she comes over here and tells me her boyfriend does harassing her all day about having sex with me. I don't recall that conversation ever happening, right? But that would be cause what? <laughs> the boyfriend. The boyfriend. Not her if she comes over to talk to me about it. <laughs> but that's still a hypothetical if you don't know nothing. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's not a crime to speculate that could have happened, but you're not sure, right? right. It's a yes. It's the why they're so isolated, right? They're up my next door neighbors. And see, he sounded like he was kind of trying to quid pro quo me to even use a damn lawnmower. Mm -hmm. He said he got had to get the dummy to use his damn lawnmower for the damn lawnmower. Right? What you mean you need to get the dummy to use my lawnmower? <laughs> Your lawnmower. <laughs> I told you that before, right? I don't know what that means. <laughs> that sounds like a guy from sleeping in the, with the enemy <laughs> who's so possessive of his lawnmower, <laughs> he got to get the dummy first <laughs> to even use it. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it's a lawnmower. I mean, you push it around and it cuts the grass. Mine or yours. <laughs> whole point, whole point. <laughs> Now, I also don't want Maria to think, because I'm talking about this, I'm going to go over there and bug her, right? You do. <laughs> if you stay to yourself, I got to stay to myself. We're not even friends. and uh, We're just people who live next door to each other. <laughs> I don't even call us acquaintances, because you don't even wave at me when you come out. <laughs> so I don't wave at you. I walk on by. <laughs> and, uh, like I said, right? <laughs> Can't get to know anybody that way anyway. Man. <laughs> but whatever tension is between you and her, I don't know what's going on. I have to guess. This is a guess. <laughs> and what I'm trying to do is clear the air here. I don't know what the hell's up with me. <laughs> Type attitude, right? <laughs> And that's general common knowledge. That's general respect for your neighbor anyway. That if your girlfriend's home all day, I'm not going to call her or talk to her or get her a number <laughs> or anything you know, of that nature. Right? <laughs> if she don't wave at me, I won't even wave at her back. Because <laughs> she sees me. And I can tell when someone's ignoring me. <laughs> <laughs> but none of it's my business, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. You live there sort of me. It's my business. Someone's acting a little bat shit. Is it you or her? <laughs> not that it matters. I'm still not going to go over there. <laughs> I don't think she's coming over here, right? <laughs> or are you just accusing her and making her feel bad and She's depressed or something, right? Because she can't do nothing about it, right? Either way, either way. She can't come over here because she's with you. And again, <laughs> she probably don't see me the way you do. And, uh, you know what that means. Uh, 
as any kind of a interest, right? I don't think so. I don't think so. Now, I'm not saying I couldn't be interested in her a little bit, but I try not to even think of my next door neighbor's girlfriend. You are the... Mm -hmm. <sighs> That's what I mean. And, uh, now, even in a nail salon, mm -hmm. <laughs> what you're not getting is a woman who works there could date and have sex with a man who's not part of that nail salon, right? If he asks her if she has a boyfriend, mm -hmm. and like with Kelly, she says no. And then I ask her, well, do you have a husband? And she says no to both, right? I could sleep with her, man, even in the damn bathroom. <laughs> Since when is that a crime? I don't know. Not that I know of. Not that I know of. Even if it is, you're too late if I done slept with her three times. <laughs> In a row and black me out somehow. <laughs> or are you trying to control the girls? Or all the women? Because you wouldn't even let anyone do my nails the second time I came in. Because I'm looking for an aging girlfriend. Are you evil Asian men bringing women over here and making them your debt slaves? Right. Which is a crime against the Constitution of America because we no longer allow slavery. Oh, no, we don't. Nope. It's <laughs> like the... Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's rubbing my head for some reason <laughs> during a massage. <laughs> My beard, things like that. <laughs> the women normally do that when they massage you. <laughs> and, uh, right. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what's going on, right? During the massage. Now, she's doing everything normally, I think. I think. Besides that, right? <laughs> she even rubs my belly. <laughs> she even rubs your belly. <laughs> I talk about the Buddha belly <laughs> to her. Mm hmm. One of the Buddhas is big and fat. <laughs> One of the Buddhas is kind of thinnish, right? <laughs> or muscular, though. <laughs> you still don't look like him, Tim. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> I don't know. But the point is... When someone asks someone certain questions and they say no, you can't interfere in her dating life in America mm -hmm. and knock me out over it and call the police over it, right? <laughs> and pretend she's 15, right? <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> but who would have a problem with it but you? <laughs> The owner of the massage, of the nail salon, and the massage parlor, right? The girls, okay, no, I'm just looking for a girlfriend, and I like Asian girls. <laughs> I know that. I know that. <laughs> and if you hit me over the head a couple times during it, no more than seven or eight, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That might make me not sure what happens between me and the girl. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure. But she's trying to let me know something. <laughs> and she's trying to arouse me a little bit. I bet, I bet. <laughs> again, again. <laughs> it works, it works. Every time. <laughs> Whatever you're doing to knock me out. <laughs> which is assault and battery. That's a real crime, And I paid for the massage. Whatever, whatever. I keep telling you this, right? The legality of sex, even in a strip club, is there's no sex in the champagne room. But that also means if you have sex, it's not part of the club. Mm -hmm. In the champagne room as well. Mm -hmm. So you're in a strip club and you make the girl feel good and she's 
has sex with you, that's separate. It's only a crime if you pay for the sex, not the lap dance. Not the lap dance. Legally speaking, right. okay, mm -hmm. you can't pay for sex. But if Violet's playing my girlfriend, <laughs> okay, and we do something, mm -hmm. or not, or not, And she says she's my girlfriend, right? And I only pay her for the lap dance, right? I'm not paying her for the lap dance and the sex if the lap dance is even $150 or $300, right? Right? Right. <laughs> Just the lap dance part, right? Right? <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> the difference between a girlfriend, too. And a prostitute is you pay the prostitute for sex. No lap dance. No lap dance. <laughs> but if you're praying the stripper for a lap dance and you really like each other and you want to be boyfriend and girlfriend, okay, and she says, okay, <laughs> and you have sex with her and she don't charge you for the sex, it's not a crime. That's not a crime. It's not prostitution. Mm -hmm. It's just sex. It's just sex. That happens to be with the lap dance. And, uh, which is priced already, right? That's <laughs> what I mean, right? Even with Elizabeth, the bartender, right? If she and I do something in the club, she's not a stripper, right? I can have sex with the bartender if we hit it off and like each other, right? Even in the club. No, you can't. But what you can't do is pay her for the sex. You understand. Well, I felt like she had sex with someone four times. Was it me? Was it you? I don't know. I don't know. And here's the thing about prostitution versus a lap dance. Each lap dance is priced between... 30 to $60 sometimes. You can even get a two for one, right? But they can't charge you for sex, right? At all. Mm -hmm. Only the lap dance. Mm -hmm. And every girl I get a lap dance from, I don't even try to have sex with them. <laughs> right? <laughs> And I tell them, I'm not trying to have sex with you. This ain't that kind of club, is it? <laughs> and I couldn't afford it because that would be prostitution anyway, right? And only come in with this amount of money, right? I would tell them that whether they said something or not. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hypothetically. <laughs> I keep telling you the story about the stepdaughter is hypothetical because I don't know nothing happened. <laughs> you do. You do. <laughs> You're the one on and on about it. <laughs> well, if you make her boyfriend not have sex with her, okay, maybe then. <laughs> if she's in her 20s, and, uh, and he ain't had sex with her the whole time, <laughs> even before this argument started on YouTube, which has been for 15 years, right? 11 years after, right? And usually that age is when you start dating anyway. <laughs> And I'm not saying it as frequently then as I am now, right? Mm -hmm. I even did a mock confession, which you seem to want to believe happened in a dream context. Because like I said, that's fictional in most molestation stories, right? That the girl actually is by herself in there with the sleeping stepdad on the couch. <laughs> or if he goes over to help her go to the bathroom, she don't easily, <laughs> while going to the bathroom, not go to the bathroom and pee if he pulls down her panties, right? Which that should be the real story anyway, right? You see what I'm saying? When you call me a child molester, though, mm -hmm. and nobody's saying it for 11 years either, but ye, but ye, when I get on YouTube 
And even then, you strategically wait a few months, it seems. And the first thing out your mouth is your pedophile. <laughs> and a child bluster. Right, like I even know who you are. <laughs> you sound like someone who knows Lloyd Ray Davis anyway. <laughs> Hmm. Or Edward John Thomas. Allegedly. Allegedly. Oh, wait a minute. They were found guilty, right? So that's not alleged anymore, is it? No. Nope. <laughs> One of them was, anyway. Hmm. For molesting young boys. <laughs> See, if you're charged with that and it's proven and you're guilty and you go to jail for it, then <laughs> you really did it. <laughs> But your church, you're lying to. Right. You don't want them to know you really did it, of course, right? It's like some of the things Michael got involved with, you know, letting little boys come into his bedroom as a no-no for any adult. <laughs> you're an adult, man. <laughs> you don't let 12-year-old boys come into your bedroom to play with you. <laughs> Why you got in trouble? Why you're dead now? <laughs> you killed your career with that shit. We know what you mean. Don't mean you're dead. Your career is. <laughs> Same with Prince. He's so fed up with Warner Brothers. <laughs> he killed himself rather than face the music. Don't mean he's dead. Don't mean he's dead. All these rock stars dying of a drug overdose. I'm very suspicious of that. I know. Even my stepbrother, Little Roddy. <laughs> That bullshit. I think you know your drugs and I think you're full of shit, little Roddy. I think you attacked me over Vivian's daughter. Because I got with her. <laughs> and I, she didn't bleed or something. And I wondered if you fucked her. I don't know. I would ask, not a cute, so no. If she didn't bleed, if she didn't bleed. <laughs> And what I'm doing there is making sure someone didn't plant something in her to begin with and then try to pass it off as mine, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Reason for that, stepbrother. <laughs> On paper. <laughs> Does that sound better? But I don't go after any woman. And like I said, even Desiree would have to sneak over here in the middle of the night and then go home. <laughs> then go. That don't, that ain't usually how it happens. <laughs> but it can. With, like with Maryville. I am Maryville. <laughs> Whole point. I'm not dating men. <laughs> never have, never will. And my friends and I, I assume, are dating women. <laughs> Now, I don't know how far the sex thing is going, especially if you can have sex with me when I'm asleep. <laughs> but don't let me wake up and you're a man. You're going to be knocked off my ass so <laughs> your ass so fast your head will spin, right? If you're trying to have sex with me when I'm asleep, <laughs> that's still night rape. <laughs> Even in the sex book, when it talks about a man having sex with a woman, it's called rape. You know, of your wife, of your wife. Because <laughs> she's not conscious when you're having sex with her and you get your own rocks off, right? So I didn't do it to a relative that spent the night with me either. <laughs> I don't know. I hope she didn't do it with me either, but I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about now. <laughs> With all these accusations, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, fool. <laughs> and it's getting ridiculous, right? Very, very. <laughs> this is constant harassment, day in, day out, with no proof in sight <laughs> that anything happened other than a normal night's sleep when I was around my stepdaughter anyway, mm -hmm. which is all that should have happened, right? You trying to make me and my ex-wife so confused. <laughs> I'm wondering if my stepdaughter had my baby. <laughs> and she had a child with me or something. <laughs> right. 
and had the daughter, I couldn't have a Mary Bell or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Now, that's not <laughs> to say mm -hmm. she didn't do it with her boyfriend in Texas or wherever she's at or Arkansas or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, but she says she has a boyfriend named Steve, okay. <laughs> Same thing I'm talking about on YouTube about Mary Bell. What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> okay, that's what Jonathan tells me. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> I, I, of course, asked him how his sister doing. Sisters, right. How's his mom, right. How's his grandma, grandpa, uncle, aunt, right. Things like that, right. But you know who's on about it. <laughs> this a-hole. Mm -hmm. Trying to pretend it's all my idea. <laughs> Trying to pretend like he don't know the difference between child molestation and, uh, and coaching of a child. Because that's what it means if she comes in there. It means she's coached too. She was taught to. <laughs> and there's only one man who had her all by himself, right, Salvador? Or is it Salvatore? <laughs> Whichever it is, whichever it is. I know. Which is an Italian name, right? <laughs> or is that Spanish? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Everything, but I know some things. I don't know if you're acting like you know. <laughs> There's only two ways, right? Or three, or three. <laughs> And you might be trying to make me think Daffy was watching me. It don't mean she was. <laughs> like I keep asking you. <laughs> if you are my ex-wife, mm -hmm. why didn't she say that in the whole 11 years? Not a word. Not a clue. <laughs> that even happened, right? And I moved back to base as soon as I could get a room, right? All you gotta wait for. That's all you gotta wait for. <laughs> that took one to four days after we got back. And I got back on Saturday. She got back on Sunday, which we would have had to do anyway. <laughs> and I bet she was hauling ass herself on the way back. <laughs> it was. Mm -hmm. I bet you sped through the mountains too. <laughs> like I thought I had to. Like you thought you had to. To be back by Monday. <laughs> Well, that's what I'm talking about, a failure to communicate. <laughs> I'm trying to communicate to this person, and they're not trying to communicate to me. They're trying to accuse me, right? They already know I did something. Well, the only way you can know is if you're part of the coaching conspiracy. Or you're, I told you on base, <laughs> and you're in the gay Navy. <laughs> and I'm joking around with you about it, but you get take it seriously <laughs> and actually attack me. <laughs> Who else could it be? Who else could it be? <laughs> and you got involved with Christian Fellowship too, but they did you different, <laughs> didn't they, brother? <laughs> Pastor Davis got you in the motel room, didn't he? Like Jessica Hans ass. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> I bet he didn't roof you either. I bet he didn't roof you either. Bet he started out nice, I know. Let's do the hand job thing. <laughs> but then the next thing you know, the man's got your bend over and sticking it in your butt. <laughs> Allegedly. Can't prove that part. He ain't been charged with that crime. <laughs> Which is adult male rape. <laughs> no. But that's why they choose their victims carefully, right? And the victim doesn't know he's targeted, right? Until it's too late. <laughs> no. But that's usually how it would go down if someone's introducing you to jerking off and, uh, with them, with them. And you think he's an old man and not strong or, or don't have any strength in him. And, uh, but, and he's fat. And he's fat. <laughs> oh, I know. I know what you're thinking. But again, I know. Being big in the belly don't mean you're not strong in the arms, right? And he's tricking you. <laughs> he could be lifting dumbbells and you don't know. <laughs> or lifting something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. 
It's like with you messing with me with my weight. Mm -hmm. Well, some women like big men, like I told you. Mm -hmm. It's cushion for the pushing for the woman too. <laughs> she gets to ride the white horse mm -hmm. in my saddle, of course. <laughs> That creates fiction, too. You ever seen uh, Cruel Intentions, too? <laughs> Ain't that right, dears? <laughs> when Michelle Kwan is getting the other girl to post on the horse's saddle. <laughs> right. You can post on me, homie. <laughs> Anytime you want. With or without. <laughs> Close. <laughs> you just pull it aside. <laughs> Your underwear, that is. <laughs> it's all that takes, dumbass, right? <laughs> I know how easy sex is. I know how fun sex is, right? I never had a problem with sex. <laughs> Told Christian Fellowship Church. <laughs> now, if I did before that, I think I'm dealing with jealous boyfriends, right? Brian. <laughs> Not Sanders, whatever his last name was, right? I know. <laughs> I know. Connie's boyfriend, right? Well, it depends on if Junior got to Connie about the Ouija board <laughs> and tried to scare her. Because <laughs> Brian cheated on her, and they, they kind of knew that, right? <laughs> but I hadn't, I hadn't. Mm -hmm. And Junior was there when it happened, right? That's her younger brother, in the right? <coughs> and he knows, I know, when I went and broke him up, go find Connie, Brian was with her, in the right? <laughs> and he was trying to get her to go to the dance with him, but I asked her instead, right? Right? Right. But what if I got more than that and Brian knocked me out when Connie, uh, again, right? Left, left. He bull rushed me, right? Before I could do anything, right? That would also explain why when I was running, right? He didn't know what was going on. <laughs> Almost acting like he was seeing a ghost, right? And ran straight into my ass, right? Is that normal for you? <laughs> it was not. <laughs> mm hmm. I told you about that too in the blog. I know you did. If you read it all, if you read it all. <laughs> so you want to read the part about me saying I could have lost her but didn't, which is an obvious statement there, right? <laughs> Unless you're just retarded. <laughs> There's nothing.